floss tube. It's Sarah, our Stitching Kingdom, and it is October, Thursday, October 24th, 2019. Welcome, and um, welcome to all my new subscribers. I've noticed an uptick, so thank you, and if you're new, just leave a comment down below from where you came from. I know I've posted a couple times in like Stitch Mate or er, Stitch in, er, semi-scene stitchers and um like you know when there's like oh post your youtube channel so i know i've put that up there but yeah please let me know who where you're coming from and and how you found me which is really fun um yesterday i was looking at the calendar and then i was looking at my memories um on facebook and on instagram and a year ago yesterday on the 23rd i started my first i did my first floss tube video which was um and then on Sunday, I think it was, was the year, um, the year before we had met up with Deb and Kef to do the very first stitch in that, um, they organized. And then a year later it, we were at Stitch West, which was amazing and fantastic. And I will go into that. Um, Jamie and, um, Jordan and grandma X stitch and we Zag stitch or Jenilyn, they did a great recap video and so did Bart um Brenda Handwork Maniac so um I'll link them below as well let me just put my write my notes in here so I don't forget um but yeah Stitch West was amazing and um it was just so much fun. I can't wait for the next, they're already talking about next year and they're actually possibly talking about a spring, which would be really fun. So it's like the more, the merrier, um, especially because it was so close. I didn't have to go, you know, travel too far. We stayed in the hotel, which was fine. Um, so we didn't have to drive. Um, but it was lots of fun really quick. I'll hop into stitching and then haul. And sorry, the F-35s are flying today, so you'll hear a little bit of that, but that's okay. Um, so last week, I kind of threw homework out the window because I knew that I wasn't going to be, you know, I really didn't want to count stitches during retreat. So um, they, so I kind of threw out homework for magical stitches and enchanted stitches kind of out the window. So, um, but I did get finishes. I just didn't want to count. So it was really fun. Super excited about it. I'll just kind of go through, um, probably later and see where I'm at and then just add that progress. But so I can get my ultimates. Um, so really quick, I've got a couple finishes. First one is by our own Bendy Stitchy Michelle. Bendy Stitchy Designs. This is, we're all mad here. This is Alice's mad, or sorry, Alice's mad plant. Um, everything but that blue, but this blue of the words is the called for. Um, I think it's a, it's an over dye. It's a gentle arts, I think, over dye of some type. Um, but everything else, and then I did this on a 28 count silk weaver called Amatrine. I love the color. I think I'm going to do this in a cube finish, so I'm super excited. So thank you, Michelle, for an amazing pattern and being an awesome person. Um, so I got that finished at the retreat. I got to ring the bell. That was fun. Alice, um, Alice did a little diamond painting that she started Friday and finished Friday and went and rung the bell, so that was really cute. Um, Izzy finished her um, cross-stitch, um, her cross stitch from Skyrim. It was Khajiit has wares if you have coin and she did a really good job on it. So it looks really good. Um, after I finished Alice's mad plant, I started working on this cute little guy. He is the top of the drum there. You can see him better there. Cute little skeletons. Um, he is the top of the drum for the, the part two on sleepy hollow. So it says, Spooks all gather for a jamboree dancing with a fiendish glee. And so that drum part's done. I even did the back stitching around it. So this one is ready to, to be finished into a drum. Got my little thread that I'm going to finish it with so I don't lose it. But it is part of the Tiny Modernist Sleepy Hollow stitch along um, that she released. And the fourth one was released 
um, first part of October. So I'm working on the third one right now. I'll show that in a few minutes. Um, haven't started on the fourth one yet, but I was working on the little skeleton guy and everybody was like, what is that? What are you working on? So that was lots of fun and hope. Um, she got a little bit more business from that um, for Cheryl. Uh, super fun. And then I also worked on some Scary Apothecary. This is actually a freebie that I will put the link below, but it is um, Spells and Charms and it has a little beaker up on top, but I don't have the um, actual picture, so I only have the pattern. I don't want to flash it, so. But I got Spells and Charms done for some purple for Magical Stitches before I was just like, nope, I'm not going to worry about counting and stuff this week. We'll go back to it next week. It's fine. And I'm not apologizing for it. I'm just like, you know what? Life gets in the way. And for people to stress over cross stitch, it's just cross stitch. It's fine. Everything's fine. So I finished the border on this one and then started the spooky tree. The I start I did this one in the in the braid and didn't like how big it was. It was too puffy. So I switched it back to um, the petite treasure braid. And then this is glow in the dark for the clouds. Cute little pumpkin. And then I'm starting the next pumpkin over here. So I'm super, super excited about that. And this is for the little block for the witch. And I'll say where I've, um, what I worked on for homework for that. And my stiatch actually was part of homework this week too. Um, so we'll kind of, let's hop into that because that's where we're at. Homework. Um, so this week's homework for Magical Stitches is we're in the cave, um, and trying to find the Horcrux. And, um, Kat's like, I want to get out. <laughs> and, um, so we had to do three of six things and we could do all six if we wanted to. Um, didn't have to and then there was a bonus so for the cave we needed to do 200 stitches of each thing so we needed to do trust something about trust so make trusting the pattern mystery stitch alongs I chose my stiatch for that and then um, something with an entryway because it's a cave I don't have anything started that has an entryway that I know of so or you know what pretty little Hawaii has some entryways on there so I could probably fix that and then number three was warm or cold um, or hot or darker light for the Inferi we had to um, fight and so I used Sleepy Hollow for that um, because there's dark threads in there, it's Sleepy Hollow, it's you know Halloween themed. And then Sectum Sempra which is the spell that Harry tries to use um, on the Inferi and also from that he learned from the Half-Blood Prince and it just splits things apart and what this one and so you need to work on something that could be all one or split apart so um they suggested like a triptych or um this particular the sleepy hollow you can stitch it as one piece okay. you can stitch it as one piece or you can separate it each piece into the drums so because of that feature i did i worked on the sleepy hollow um, and then boat, um, because we traveled there by boat, um, we had to use the letter or designer of a pattern, letter, the first letter of a designer or pattern, um, either first or last name for designer in boat, B-O-A-T. And so I did tiny, mod excuse me, tiny modernness. And so sleeping, um, working on Sleepy Hollow on that is what I'm working on. And then Aguamenti for the water that, or the spell that creates water, um, something with water so I'm going to use my pretty little Hawaii and I left that in the other room so and then with Enchanted Stitches um, we're talking about how um, it's kind of the end of Nightmare Before Christmas where Sally casts the fog to try to thwart Jack from um, from going and flying it for Christmas and so I used um, the witches are ha they have a cauldron and they're in this third block they have a cauldron and so they're casting a fog or casting some type of spell 
to prevent Jack from going, but Zero saves the day, and so we had to stitch on something with with an ant, with a ghost, or with an animal, and so there's um, actually a ghost and a cat in this particular block. So um, worked on that and got my 200, 250 stitches on that, and now I'm working on how to block Jack, which. Um, I'm using this again. This is this is getting a lot of love this week, but I'm saying that the fence posts I can use to um, bar my door um, to prevent him from getting in because I don't want the presence that Jack is trying to leave. And then also I have the, like the vines from the pumpkins. Um, even though he's the pumpkin king, it's fine. That's how I'm working it. And then um, the last part is to work on Halloween piece. So, and obviously Sleepy Hollow is Halloween, so it's getting a lot of love this week. Um, let's see here. And then the bonus, oh, the bonus on Magical Stitches was on something with a necklace. And so, um, because the Horcrux that was found, or the Horcrux that was found, um, is um, a necklace. And so I worked on my Stiatch piece where there, Blanche has this really cool necklace and Rose has a necklace. But yes, I did a whole bunch of back stitching for, oh, that looks actually really good, um, for this piece. Finished it up, um, caught up. So um, this necklace that Blanche is wearing, I actually took some silver metallic and did a chain stitch, a crochet, a crochet chain stitch, and then um, just tacked it down. So I don't know if you can, if it'll zoom in on it, but it's pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of myself for doing that really good. Oh, there it goes for doing that chain stitch. So um, yeah, just right there it goes. And then we tacked it down with some turquoise thread. So lots of fun. Love it gonna be interesting to see what the finishing touches will be and I'm already gonna give this to like a co-worker so she loves the Golden Girls so um she was super she comments and says I love this so much and so got my bonus on that but um yeah that was my stitching that this week and last week and so not a ton but we had lots of fun um I so going into a haul really quick um, and also parts about Snug Harbor Crafts. Um, so one of the things I did, oh, before going, I went over to mom and I on Monday. Um, we had a meeting at Weber State and so she was just like, let's run to Shepherd's Bush. I have to grab something. And I said, okay, we can do that. And so I went, we went there, um, ran into um, Jennifer from Kentucky and she, I was walking just wandering through and I hear her say Sarah and I was like hi and I was like remind me your name because sometimes you don't see faces or you know she's like I'm Jen I was like oh it's good to meet you so um, she actually found because I was looking for cinnamon stars and so I'm gonna start kidding that guy up Thanks, Aaron, <laughs> for because it's been on my list for a long time, and I've always wanted to do this one, and so now I have it. I've got a couple of threads in there. Got to look through my stash, see what I want to substitute, see if I want to just go and buy them, and then found so Carla Rolodex. Are you looking? Look, this one is Glory and Julius Gobble Free. And they are patriotic turkeys. I love them so much. So I'm gonna stitch these guys up. They're hilarious. I love them. So, um, and got those from Shepherd's Bush. So that was like my start of the week of craziness. And I've got a crinkle. So the first thing I got is Rika from House of Stitch and Stash. She had this project bag up for pre-order. And the, I love the check she used on the inside, that green and black buffalo check is amazing. But this is a Riley Blake pattern and you're just gonna die. It says Utah. And it's got like hunting and the mountains and fishing and skiing over here. 
and the Great Salt Lake with the sailboats. So thank you, Rika. I can't even fit it in frame. It's so big. So I'm excited to put stuff in it. And Rika is the most adorable person. Like, she's fantastic. I got to meet her um, Friday. We didn't get a lot of... Uh, a lot of chance to talk because she was on a different table than I was and we were like clear on opposite sides of the room but every time we pass each other we would like hi and chit chat a little bit and she's amazing I love her so much and just everybody was there not a bad thing to say like if something had gone wrong we didn't know about it because Deb and Keth are amazing and just it was it was so cool and then I have all my haul is in here so and we got, so it's nice and crinkly, nice and crinkly. So we all had um, our name tags. I kept mine because mine was actually my favorite number. My number is 72. Like that's my answer to everything is it's like, how many projects are you bringing? 72. What's this 72? That's, you know, like Audrey's is 42, which is the answer to everything. Mine is 72. So. And that was pretty hilarious. So got that, um, got a couple of needle minders. Okay, let's just get everything out so that the crinkle is not so crazy. Okay, so one of the things, okay, will go there. So Rika also had these cute little needle minders that's her calligraphy, and it's wood etched, um, wood, laser engraved into there, and so they're little Utahs. So Stitch West. And then um, Robin and her sister had these, she had like three options of little tiny silver. Um, one, Sarah got a different one, my mom got a different one, or Izzy got a different one, and my mom got a different one super simple and really strong magnets. I love it. And then Lorinda, who came down last year for the stitch in from Idaho Falls, I think that's where she's at, her and her daughter Jordan, her daughter-in-law Jordan, gave these gorgeous, gorgeous scissor fobs. Like, the, like, and then they have the pretty stork scissors at the bottom. I love these. They're so pretty. And just the colors are just fantastic and that iridescent one in the middle is my favorite so they pass those out um and i need to remember to make little swaps like that for next time and for stitch con and then um ray stitching sunshine ray who is adorable and is an inspiration for one of the patterns that um i'm going to be stitching along with one of my table mates laura made these cute little hedgehogs needle minders and with a little card that says, witches and pumpkin spice, witches and stitches and pumpkins and spice. The season is full of all that is nice. Thanks for the stitchy great time from Ray Slade. And she's um, Ray Stitching Sunshine. So she's adorable. She's super sweet. Um, so she passed those out to everybody, those cute little hedgies. And then um, Jen from What Are You Doing Studio, and I'll link her below had her needle minders and scissor, scissor fobs for sale. So I got those three needle minders because they were cute and fun and flamingos. And then this scissor fob, that purple heart is just everything. It's like puffy and I love it. It's so pretty. So I will link her below. And um, that came later, put that right there. And then oh, um, on Saturday, we got a freebie pattern from Lindy Stitches. It's the turtle, um, turtley lovable. And this turtle, you can do so many things with it. Um, one of my table mates, Cheryl, was talking about instead of the balloon, the heart balloon, you could do two candy canes in the shape of a heart right above him. I mean, so many options. And I didn't mean to, I hope I didn't flash the pattern. So sorry about that, but so cute and he's adorable. You can make him into a scissor fob or whatever, a little small. Um, and then Leslie, who from Under the Sea Fabrics, amazing, amazing woman. She's fantastic. Um, I got to play Pokemon Go with her. We did a raid because we were right by a raid gym. And she's like, I was talking to her and she's like, hey, there's a raid starting. <laughs> Go grab your phone and grab Izzy. And I was like, all right. So we raided together and it was lots of fun. 
um, but she brought a suitcase full of fabric. I think she may have brought two, but yeah, we had suitcase. We had we had fun looking at her her lovelies, and um, she had them in um, half yard cuts, and then we could either have the full half yard or we could cut it into a quarter. So I'm just gonna unfold a part of it. Actually, not even. I'm just gonna do the eighth of it. But this one is Selkie, which is a 32 count opal linen that I split with Joanne, who I met at Fall Fling last year and enabled to do Sleepy Hollow and Joanne was amazing. So, but you can't really see up oh, there. There it is. But it's just real, it's really pretty neutral, lots of little, little sparkles. So I'm excited for that one. Not sure what I'll do with that, but actually, ooh, I could put my mom's present on that one. Hee <laughs> hee. So ideas, ideas. Um, and then I got a fourth of properly primitive and this is 40 count, 40 count linen. Sorry, there's somebody at my door, but this I love, like, this is so pretty. Like the colors, oh, properly primitive is definitely my jam. Leslie is very talented. And then going through this has, okay, I'm going to show that one. This one's kind of last. And then I got 40 count Anubis. This is just um, a quarter. And this is 40 count linen in Anubis. I mean, oh, look at this. Like, is that not yummy? I'm going to put Midnight Ride on this from um, Blackbird Designs, The Crow. He's going to look, uh, she is going to look amazing on this. Right there, I think, is where I want to put her. Or right here. I can't, I can't decide, but there's some really good really good stuff on that one. And then I got looking glass and I got the full half yard. And this one is a 36 count linen, but I couldn't resist. And I've got my, my Mirabilia Alice that I think I'm going to put her on this. So she's so pretty and it's 36. So I think I'll have to fix the beads. Um, but I don't think she had many beads. So we'll have to, I'll have to see what's going on with that. But, and then this one, like, I got some of those right off and I was just like, okay, I have these done. And then I would wander back to the table and Robin, who was sitting there with Leslie, would just laugh. And I would look at something and she's like, oh, you're back. I was like, no, I'm just browsing. She's like, uh-huh, you're back and you're gonna spend some more money. I said, uh, no. And so I had gone back and found these two fabrics. Um, this one is Winterbrook, yes, and it's a 32 count linen. But look at that. Why? How could you not say no? So pretty. Like, just such a pretty color on that. And then this one is Hamlet. It's a 32 count linen. I might, I'll have to see if it's enough, but I might put my Halloween Quaker on this one. I mean, look at that. So pretty. Love it. The modeling. I mean, it's just an amazing piece. And I'm, if not, Halloween Quaker, I don't, I, I could put a lot. Ooh, Winter Quaker would be really pretty on that Winter Brook. Ideas, ideas are coming. Okay, and then, um, Ray, and I'll, it'll, I'll put, I'll show it in the, um, I have a slideshow of the Bragg table, Bragg tables, we had two of them. Um, but Ray did this amazing, um, drum of Good Morning Maui, the, um, the stretching portraits and it's on Etsy I'll link it below but Laura at my table and I split this um, ha this of sea witch so we both got a quarter of it that purple with that and we're gonna start a stitch along on the 31st of October for Haunted Mansion I'm, we're going to figure out, try to figure out a um, good hashtag for it, but yes. So stitch along with Laura and I, and she is Stitch and Maniac on Instagram. I will link her below. She's amazing. I love her so much. Like 
those ladies at the table, we are seriously friends for life. Um, and the fact that they are somewhat close, I mean, Julie lives in, in, uh, Fargo, but you know, it's still semi close. Um, and then, so that's, that's plans kind of segueing into plans, but, um, super excited for this. And then this one, um, is Rose Quaker by Stickadine von, von der Wienberg. Um, it's a German designer. And she saw a conversion. Her name was Amy at the attic. And um, the con color conversion is so much brighter than this. Like the greens are green. And um, so Laura took a picture and recharted it and saw, like they said, um, these are the colors that Amy used, but we don't know where she used them. So Laura went through and like compared the picture to the color list. And so she got that, um, you just have to, if you want, and I'll start it in a little bit here. So, um, but you can also check out, um, Laura's Instagram. Um, like I said, it's at stitch and maniac and, um, it's gorgeous. And so if you want that, that, different Belsois silk conversion, you just need to contact either the attic in Arizona or, um, Laura for that conversion. So, um, and I'll post both of that below. Um, so super fun, super exciting. I'm really excited to do those. Uh, Jordan from basic stitches and little stitch girl, she was there with her patterns. And so I got happy fall y'all, which is super cute. Um, Harvest House, which was kind of the unofficial stitch along. Sarah Lusk at my table, she was stitching it and she's adorable. Um, Firework Lane. And Haunted Hill Road, which I'm definitely going to use that, um, that fabric. Oh, it's Colonial Parchment. So, and then she had a new release. Frost House, which is super cute. And then um, she, her and Debbie were talking and she was like, I really want to design, Jordan wanted to design a pattern. Sorry, sound of freedom there. Um, for the, the retreat and she actually ended up designing three so there's Santa and his reindeer with a lighthouse, um, the anchor with the Santa hat and the Christmas lights, and then this wheel that's a wreath, and it says um, Stitch West 2019, and it says Snug Harbor Crafts at the top. And, um, and they're big, like, you think ornament, you think ornament, these were actually like that big, it was so pretty. And then Debbie actually kitted up the ornament for it, the, um, the steering wheel wreath for us. So, which was super sweet of her. And Kef was like, she is sorting floss. She's been sorting floss. And so, um, super fun, super exciting. Um, got that. And then Cassie from Autumn Lane Stitchery and she's on Etsy. I will link her below. Um, I got this cute little owl pattern from her. So I'm excited to stitch that. And that one is done on Grace from Stephanie, um, Hemma Dye by Stephanie. So those owls are super cute. So I'll stitch that one day. And then at our table, we also had, um, Deb made these cute little boxes. They were all different. Um, some people ended up, Ooh, I still got candy in mine. Woo. Um, like using them for art containers, but super cute little trick or treat boxes that she used on, she cut out with her Cricut. And then for, and then, um, Gazelle's Needlework, um, passed out these cute little bags. And I'll get to that one in a second. That had these little cats stamped on them. And then there's a bell in there. This cute little charm. And her business card, Gazelle's Needlework. It was Renee that was there. And she was super sweet. And also a ring and this cute little pumpkin bell. 
So I'm going to put that back in there. I'm going to put that on something because it's super cute. My thing to link. And then um, for the smells exchange, I'll insert a photo here. A video of my small that I did. Um, there were sneak peeks of it just because, um, you know, I wanted people, you know, I was working on it for some things. So I'll insert that here. This is the small I made for Stitch West and I used um, an opalescent silk weaver fabric and the pattern is from Just Cross Stitch no or October edition. The buttons came from Carrie at Carrie and Stitches. Same with this cute little tag that says made with love. And then I used my own color conversion. I used, I think this is a Weeks for the um, the coppery leaves and then this is a cottage garden threads and then this one I know is a color in cotton called Dracula so I really like the striping on that very fall like so that's what I made for Stitch West and we will see you on Thursday the 17th can't wait to see you all there have a good one And then what I got from Nisha, who is the mom of Sassy Stitch and Sisters and Brother, who they were there, Wyatt and Zoe and um, Maggie, they were all there. And in this, I got this cute little ghosty guy with a candle. Let me go put him out. And then my small, oh, the person that got my small, her name was Michelle, and she came with... Um, Dara from Southern California Stitchin. So she traveled from California um, with Dara and she was so excited to get the Biscornu and she actually told me, she's like, I've not liked Biscornus. I've, wa I've wanted to make one, but they've scared me. And, you know, Olga and I, her table mate, were talking about um, how easy they are, how they're really not intimidating. And the the way you get the funny corners is because you're, you're sewing them um, so you sew them, here's your square, right, like that, and so you've got your two square pieces, but you're going to turn it slightly, and that's how you get your corners, the different corners, and yeah, and she's like, that's so easy, I hadn't thought of that, so I, she's going to try one, and she's, I'm super excited, um, but Nisha, so it's got little scissors, so really cute, but this shepherd's bush scissor fob, those cute little sheepies, and then on the back, is a little graveyard and the bones and the pumpkins so cute and um zoe picked it out picked out the scissors the kids helped and so i am super super excited that i got a piece of stitching from a person i admire and a person i've met and who is an amazing person so super excited how many times in that sentence could i have said person and then Um, there was also this M&M bag that she sewed with the M&M's, like, she put the M&M's in a separate bag, but, like, it's got interfacing, and it's a little puffy, and then I think she just put, like, clear tape on the top, but yeah, is that not the coolest thing? So fun. Um... So super excited about that. I'm glad I can use all this stuff now. There are some things that I was just like, uh, floss tube rule be had because I wanted to get it started or not got it started, but um, I wanted to dive into it. And one of those things is my color and cotton Halloween box. I got the large box. And if you don't want spoilers, you can skip ahead a few minutes. Um, I'm not going to go extensively into it. Um, but we got, it's called the Harvest Halloween, and so there's a design by Heart and Hand in here, um, with a thread kit and cauldron bubble linen and rickrack to like finishing, um, a pumpkin pumpkin needle minder from Mad for Minders, 
um, hand poured beeswax which is right here and I like that she put it in a little tin and it's a thread conditioner and so super cute and put that right there and then these cat scissors okay there's the needle I'm not gonna take it out of the package but there's the cute little needle minder and then there's these cat scissors that are just adorable and then here's the finishing and some candy corn but the little Rick Rack and the chenille and then some candy corn and we got little buttons that are hand dyed buttons like they're vintage buttons so and we got a voucher for color and cotton the bigger box has got ten dollars so I was excited um this is finishing fabric it's really fun like nice black um and then this is and I don't know if I've not looked at my heart and hand uh, patterns really quickly, but I think Cecilia signed that. And I don't know if she signs all of her patterns or if that's the way all heart and hands look, but that looks, you know, which is really cool that she would have signed it. So I noticed that. And then so this is just creeping in the round. And I really want to get the Hocus Pocus Halloween. Jamie finished it from Basic Stitches and it's so cute. Um, and then here's all the threads for creeping it around. Um, and then finishing instructions and we got, sorry, I hit my limit there. And we got, um, the cauldron bubble for the ornament, for the creeping it round. And what I, I got 40 count and so I'll have plenty to do more stuff on that so I'm excited that's a really pretty color that green and then tombstone and that was a 13 by 17 so that's a stitchers eighth and this is a a quarter um, fat quarter of tombstone and this is a 40 count linen I love that gray so it's a very pretty neutral lots of stuff you could do with it and then um, these are all hand dyed limited edition to the box um, I got a silk that is this really gorgeous purpley I'm so excited to stitch with this it's, and it's so buttery and then lots of fun fall colors there's two oranges one's a darker one's lighter and these ones don't have names so oh there's three oranges that one's definitely pumpkin and then this really pretty gray this gorgeous purple this fun yellow which would be fun for a moon and then these two different greens one's a very pumpkin stem green and one is so Hildy might get some love with these colors so I'm excited um but yeah don't as, as Michelle says don't sleep on the color and cotton boxes because yeah even the half boxes I got the mini box from what was it the mini box from the 4th of July one and it was fantastic and so I was very happy about that um so yeah don't sleep on the color and cotton boxes even the mini boxes are amazing like she just put so much work into it and so much thought and there's there's lots of really fun things to be had so and then plus so um and then cute little Kay Nielsen she was adorable I love this lady she gave us my mom and I she gave um this little tin from I think it's from Moda yep and then it's got this cute little needle inside and it's on a magnet so you can attach it to like the top but it's got I like the felt that it's on and then some blacks and red and um, white those are her colors so she's she made me laugh she was really sweet um, I met with um, just so many great people were there um, Jennifer Underwood who um, her and her sister Jill 
um, have a genetic disease and they came and talked to us and they were really sweet and working on some beautiful, beautiful projects. Um, I'd met Jen previously when we went to Henselman's, I think is what it's called, down in Provo for a stitch in. Um, and that was lots of fun. Um, but yeah, just the people there and the generosity, because we did that food drive for the veterans, mom and I did. And we got over 720 items, like food or toiletry items donated, just brought in. And then we raised $740 that we're going to give to the VA to, um, to buy um, items for the food pantry. And so just the generosity of the stitching community and the amazing people um, that we have in this community it was amazing. I mean, veterans are, a, you know, close to my heart is a cause that's close to my heart. And we were really excited because we didn't think it would take off like it did. And Debbie came up to me afterward and, and said, you know, me and my mom, and she's like, this is the best thing. We need to definitely do a charity every time we do a stitch in you know, or a, a, a retreat, whether it be, you know, through the veterans, whether it be through um, community outreach, whether it be, you know, there's so many different um, charities out there and people that need help and, you know, so many ways that we as stitchers were just members of the community can help. Our kids are doing a food drive this year um, at their school. So instead of like the dollar dress down days, they're doing can, you know, you bring in canned goods to, to dress down. And it's just amazing. And just the gratitude and the, the generosity of everybody just warms my heart. And my mom was, was t saying thank you after we had done the last drawing. I mean, we had Christine from Stitch All The Things donate a bag. We had a floss buddy donated. We had Michelle donated every single one of her patterns, Michelle Bendy, um, for this cause. And we bundled them up and she even threw in the threads for the SI sampler that just recently released. And, um, Rika donated a bag. Um, I bought a minky blanket to donate. Um, I bought a bag from, from Evertotes for, um, cause Carolyn had those really fun, um, Halloween bags. And I was like, Oh, we got to get one. And, um, we had a lady of the flag that we d that was donated. We had, um, a, we went and got a shepherd's bush gift card to donate or gift certificate. And, um, and then on Saturday, Leslie Lafleur, Lafleur from Under the Sea Fabrics, that woman is amazing. Like I said, she's a fantastic human being and I cannot wait to meet with her again and hang out and, you know, talk to her again. She was amazing, but she also donated a gift certificate for Under the Sea Fabrics and we, were, we told every, and it was after a lot of people had put stuff in and we're like, what do we do? We want everybody to have a chance. And so we, um, decided that anybody who had bought tickets or donated items could get, and they wanted, if they wanted that, that particular thing so that they could have a, a fair chance, um, that we would give them a ticket, um, just for, you know, to be fair. And it was just, so the generosity out there of this community is amazing. And I thank you ladies so much. I think, you know, thank you for donating. Thank you for, um, donating to our little cause. And, um, I told both, um, yeah, it was just so amazing and I loved it so much. And then the ladies that sat at our table were, you know, their family for their, their friends for life. I had, you know, Michelle, um, from down, she lives down in St. George and Julie, no, not Michelle. Misty. Sorry. Sorry, Misty. I, why did I say Michelle? Misty from um, down in St. George and Julie um, from North Dakota and um, Cheryl was there and Laura, who is Stitch and Maniac. And I'll link everybody below. And then Stephanie Ivy House Crafter sat at our table and um, Sarah Lusk sat at our table and I'll, I'll link everybody below. They, they were, and then it was my mom and Izzy and me and we just had a great time and it was, we laughed, we, you know, had some semi-serious conversations, not super, but you know, talked about life and talked about our experiences and, um, 
just the amazing things that have happened to us and what we've been through and um then to you know meet Deb and Kef again and just have them have just work so hard and it be such an amazing an amazing retreat um I'll I've got pictures and a slideshow of or a video of the two brag tables we had to do two brag tables because the one was not enough and you know and they did a tour to Shepherd's Bush one day or a trip to Shepherd's Bush one day they did a trip to the craft center of fine stitchery and then I don't know where we've been but we have a warehouse that um for Cindy Sorley Stitcher Express, that's just in Clearfield. That's just like down, it's over by my parents' house. I was like, like what? And I remember Cindy's shop when she was in Layton, um, going there a few times. I think I still have like fabric from when I, when I went there. And so that was really cool to meet her and to hear her story. And, you know, I know Megan, um, uh, Megan B. Stitchin on here on, on Floss Tube. Um, she goes and works for her on Wednesdays and like pairs things up. And I was like, how does she do? And so we're, my mom and I are going to go visit there one day, probably in a couple months where we've, you know, done with the YouTube or the retreat hangover, but it was just so much fun. Um, and you know, just meeting everybody and everybody being so nice and friendly and, um, just, so amazing to to meet people who've watched me and like Ray and like Stitching Sunshine Ray she was really sweet and um Sharon Worm um love she was like one of the first people I saw and, I, and she just gave me a big old hug and we talked a little bit and she sat at Dara's table but you know it was just so cool because you'd walk by somebody and you'd say oh what are you stitching on or oh I love that and you know they'd talk to you about it and it was just it was so neat and so fun and I wish I'd gotten around a little bit more, but you know, it, you, you socialize when you can and sometimes you just are there and want to be stitching and want to talk to the people at your table because they're just super, you know, interesting as well. And I think everybody bonds differently and, and but yeah, it was lots of fun. I highly recommend, highly recommend and get to a retreat. It doesn't matter if it's a big, huge retreat. It doesn't matter if it's a teeny tiny retreat or if you decide, Hey, I want to just organize a stitch in stitch with other stitchers. It makes life so much more fun. Um, virtual stitchers is super fun. Like we laugh and we, <laughs> you know, it's, there's some funny things that happen over on that group. Um, and, but I love those ladies. They're so fun. And it's just really, really neat. And I love this community and thank you guys for being here. Um, Kyle was saying to end your videos, like to ch he challenged us, um, this is Kyle Rickemeyer, Stitching and Sound, he challenged us to, um, you know, kind of end our videos on a high note and say something that brings us joy, you know, going back to Jan Hicks. Um, and I think what brings me joy that I see and something that I see is just the smile on you know, my kid's face when, when they're working on something and they see it and they, they achieve it. They see it finished. They see it through to the end. Um, Alice has been working on some diamond paintings that, you know, just little kits and she's finished both of them. And she's like, I want to give these to my friends. And it's like, that's totally good. You know, you're fine. And I, she's just so proud of her work and so wants to share it. And I think that's what, that's what makes me happy. And that's what, I love about this community and just crafting in general just brings out it needs to bring out the good side of people and I love it and I just had a great time thank you thank you Deb and Kef for an amazing weekend and I can't wait for the next one it's gonna be a blast and I can't wait to see everybody again and if you have any questions or comments just leave them in the drop down box below and we will catch you later. Bye.